It's been a great pleasure to meet with the Cancer Society of Barbados today and explain to them some of the novel developments in molecular genomic medicine. Now, for those of you who think that's an unmanageable mouthful, what it actually means is um, we now have the capacity to have um, face recognition for a tumor and tell from looking at the different genes within an individual tumor how that tumor is going to behave, what it's likely to do, and even more important, we can work out what treatments it's likely to be sensitive to. And when the patients are treated, by measuring these genomic groups, we can identify whether the treatment is, whether the treatment is successful or not. Now, you might say, well, what's different about this? Well, the difference about this is you can do this all with a finger prick of blood or a milliliter of blood from a venous blood sample. So it can be done at your average doctor's office and put into a tube and then sent to a laboratory and processed. And within a few days, uh, one can tell you exactly what kind of tumor a patient has what's likely to happen to it, and how it's going to do. This technique is so sensitive, it will pick up tumors two to three years before they can be identified by imagery or the other kind of technology that's available at the moment. So the answer is for the average person, you're likely to pick up their disease at a very, very early time point. And I'm sure almost everybody knows the earlier you identify a disease, the much more likely you are to cure it. So what we're looking at is a technique called liquid biopsy, which measures multiple genes from a tumor and allows us to predict early, accurately, and effectively how that tumor is going to behave and what treatment it should have. The proposal has been put to the Barbados Cancer Society. I think they will make their decision as to whether they're interested to pursue. My sense is from the warm reception here today that they would probably like to go ahead. The uh, protocol, of course, has to be looked at by a university or academic group to make sure that we're doing correct things to look after patients properly. Um, that's been submitted and hopefully we'll hear from that in the next few weeks. At that stage, we're ready to begin any time uh, a patient goes to a clinic in Barbados and is prepared to give blood. So uh, we're ready, willing and able and uh, hope that this will be a benefit to the uh, people of Barbados uh, by introducing novel genomic techniques here and not waiting 20 years for this kind of information to reach the island, but rather just leapfrogging everybody and getting ahead of the game for patients. The detection, the detection has changed. What about the treatment? Is the treatment is it in correlation with the detection? And has it been working? And now you've changed the detection, you the changing the treatment? Yeah, the, that's a very good question. The, the, the bottom line is most people who get detected with disease by going to clinics and having standard testing at the moment, when the disease is found, it's very advanced already. This detects disease at an absolutely microscopic level. So it won't result in any major changes in treatment. It will just mean that you're treating something when it can't be seen, so it can be very effectively, very effectively treatment, because alternatively, you treat disease which is uh, already major and has advanced. Uh, you know, it's like, it's like you start working on fixing the, the gate in the barn after the horse has already escaped. So this is, you get it before the horse even thought about leaving the barn. Why are you doing it? Why are you willing to do it for free? Um, I've been fortunate enough to have a very long and, if I say it hubristically, distinguished career. Um, same with uh, Professor Rosen, who introduced me to the group in Barbados. And the people who have supported and funded this company have also done um, very well uh, over the
over the course of their professional life, and we're very interested in giving back uh, over time. And each of us in our own way. Some people have financial backing, other people have intellectual backing, and other people have time and uh, resources. It's,